What's up, gang? On this episode, I'm going to get up close and personal with me. That's right. And, but first, hit that subscribe button. And go ahead and hit the notification bell for future videos. Guys, here we go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Billy Collins. And on this episode, I'm going to get a little personable uh, and probably a little dark and there's a reason for it uh, and so let me just go ahead and get started so it's come to my knowledge or to my attention that I am suffering from severe depression now let me start by saying I'm not making this video for you guys to feel sorry for me I'm not making this video for you guys to think that I'm crying a river. That's not the case. Uh, this channel, I pride on a few things. One, I want people to feel good. Two, I want to entertain. Three, I want to expose some of the great minds in business, uh, entertainment, and influencing. Uh, and you know, eventually, I will have my brand, and I will be focusing on that. However. I can't do those things if I'm not true to you, if I'm not telling you where I come from and what I deal with. And depression is one of those things that I deal with. So there's a few things that you can tell that how you're, or if you are depressed or going through depression. Uh, one is you're kind of sad a lot. Uh, sounds silly and it's kind of immature, but it is. I mean, it's you you are sad a lot. Lack of sleep. I can't tell you the countless nights that I lay my head on the pillow and I cannot fall asleep because I have all these thoughts that run through my head constantly. All these thoughts, things that I've done in the past that that I, I just cannot forgive myself for or things that I deal with, the missing people, missing situations in my life and it's really hard to go to sleep when you have those in your in your mind. Uh, three, I <clears throat> noticed that my diet would yo-yo. I would either starve myself, or I wouldn't eat anything, uh, or I would I would eat anything, you know, just shove it in my mouth. And I, I think that was a way of punishing me for some reason. Uh, so. I don't know if that's the correct, the correct word, but it, it was just a way for me to do something to myself. Um, let's see. I had lack of motivation to do anything. Uh, if you guys are been here with the channel for some time, you know that there was a big, big lapse of time where I didn't film anything. And that's because I didn't even want to get off the couch. I didn't want to do anything. I. I literally just sat there. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to, to see people. I had to force myself to go to work. Uh, and it, it sucked. It was awful. Uh, and that, the last thing that I, that I kind of, that hit home to me is, I thought it was worthless. And that's really hard to swallow sometimes, is that, you know, you wake up, do you have a purpose? Would people even miss you if you were gone? And it's silly, but those are the type of things that would go through my head, and they still do. <coughs> Excuse me. They still go through my head. Uh, so I just kind of basically wanted to go one-on-one -on -one and talk with you guys about my personal demons. Now, I think a lot of my depression has come to life because my entire life, I have had people depending on me. I've had people that would come to me to solve problems. And uh, I recently got divorced. My kids are older. They've moved away. Uh, <clears throat> and that was a big part of not having that, that outlet, those people that needed me. Uh, sure, I have friends now that need me and I need them. Uh, but I think the whole needing of people kind of shattered the depression and took my mind off depression and kind of said, well, I, I can't focus on that and fix myself because I got to take care of so many people. 
So now those elements are gone. They're not, they're not around anymore. So I tend to focus on the depression a little bit more than I should. And it just rears its ugly head and it causes me to do silly things like, you know, like I said, drinking. Not a big drinker, but the sometimes I when when it's a bad day, I will drink just for the purpose of getting drunk. Just so it it numbs the pain of the depression. Uh, and like I said, I'm the oldest of five kids, so I was always taking care of my brothers and sister whenever I was younger or trying to help my parents out or whatever I had to do to, to get through the days. Uh, and I, I never concentrated on myself. But now it's kind of like to the point where I need to reflect upon that and worry about myself. Now, I gotta fix myself. And I'm glad that I have the channel that I can focus and channel that, that I guess that spirit or that energy uh, to help my depression because I need it. Uh, so with that being said, I don't want people to cry for me. That's not the purpose. But like I said, I want this channel for people to, to laugh, to have fun, to learn something, to expose great minds and, and business or and entertainment or influencing. Those are the type of things. I want people to get something from this channel. So I want you guys to get one thing, that if one of those symptoms that I talked about, being sad, uh, lack of enthusiasm of doing anything, your eating habits change, you uh, can't sleep or you're drinking just because it numbs the pain or you're feeling worthless I just want you to know that you are not the only one the only ones out there uh, I, I did a bunch of research on different artists and different business people that that are suffering from depression and you would be so surprised do the research. I think the biggest one that hit me the hardest because he's one of my favorite actors of all time was Robin Williams. He had this uncanny aura about him and he was just more bigger than life. He was always smiling and having a good time, but he suffered deeply from depression. And when that happened, when he took his own life, I started, that's kind of when it kind of reared his ugly head within me that if this powerful and funny and intelligent person that is so big in the in the movie industry and in the comedy industry if he's suffering from it and can't deal with it what am I supposed to do so you know it, just, it was just a dark time not because of that because the depression just kind of reared its ugly head luckily now I have some fantastic friends that I've opened up to and you guys know who you are. I, I talk to a couple of you every single day, uh, whether you like it or not. I know they're probably going nuts, but uh, you guys really help me get through the days. You really help me feel better about myself. Uh, and I think another big thing I want you guys to, to get out of this, other than you're not alone, is that please ask for help. Don't fight this yourself. It took me a long time. It took me 47 years to learn. I don't need to do this by myself. I can. I need to suck it up, ask for help. That's what friends are there for. That's what your family's there for, is to, so they can help you through tough times. I've helped enough people, and I've never really asked for it. So it was kind of. It was very hard for me because I wanted to. You know, I pride myself on being the strong one, the intelligent one, the one that helps everybody in that can get everything done and you, I don't need anyone but I do and I think you do too so uh, enough with the rant I just wanted to get on here and talk about that so we can go further in, in the future and really make this channel just fantastic and you guys can get something out of it uh, so with that being said please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video if you don't like it Go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Who cares? Okay, share this with your friends. Maybe some others are going through depression as well. It might just, I don't know if you get anything from it. I really didn't even solve any problems uh, other than the fact that I think you should reach out to people and ask for help. Uh, so, uh, but go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, all that fun stuff. Guys, we will see you on the next video.